Have you ever wanted to see an entire family suffer through a day of Olympic Games? Because today is the day. I've accumulated my entire family, including the cousins, to swim, paddle, and drown in the lake. Hopefully not the last part. As we compete in this year's Family Olympic Summer Games. <laughs> I divided the two teams into colors, red and blue. On team red, we got Max, Allie, Sammy, me, myself, and I. That counts as six. Mother Shelly, Father Bill, and Grandma and Grandpa Kench. Then on team blue, we got Maggie, Lucy, Molly, Lily. They're all sisters. Their parents, Uncle Jim and Aunt Mary, and the boyfriends, Sam and Danny. There's also Mother Mary, another grandparent. And that sums up the teams. We're going to start with one of the tamer games. The nursery rhyme sums it up. Row, row, row your boat. Because we're doing a stand-up paddleboard relay. Hit the mark. Three, two, one, go. Do you want to say anything to the microphone? I'm really excited to get started. Owie, we're gonna win? Yes. Thank you, thank you. It's a very simple challenge, guys. We just gotta go out to my dad and back. On Team Red, it's Carter and Owie. Team Blue over here, who we got? Lily and Molly. Two great names. Will they hold up? I don't know. Let's get this started. And they're off to the races. We got a riveting race ahead of us. Carter, how are you, how are you feeling about your team prospects? Oh, look at her. She's doing great. Oh my gosh, they're fighting. Oh, it's getting nasty out there. I'm in it to win it. In it to win it. There she goes. Uh oh. Ah! Now the most important part of this competition is the transition from one player to another. <laughs> oh, and a great transition. Excellent racing out there. I took the inside. Did yeah, you see you that? Yeah, you did. How'd you feel about your racing out there? I felt pretty good. I'm slightly out of breath right now. There was one moment I got a little competitive. I cut her off. I'm singing a song, Dad. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's too close. Ah! It's going to be a final finish. Well, the paddleboard was a tie. Isn't that just the best thing ever? <laughs> Great race. Carter, how'd you feel about your performance? Uh, Needle and Hayward. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Woo! It was an exciting race coming down to a photo finish. I'm from the 1920s. We're just gonna manifest the next one has a winner because it's a golf chip off with the grandparents. Who's gonna be the winner of the chip off? Welcome, my name's Molly. This is the chip off. Do you wanna introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Sue Kinch and I'm grandma to Carter Kinch. And you. So grandma, I heard that you had something to say. My grandma would like to report a claim. This is an official Olympic complaint because this man, my husband, he brought a club that we're going to chip with that I don't know how to use. You're on the same team. No, we're not. I'm... We're all individual. Oh. I already filed an official complaint. That sounds like sabotage. Yes, it does. I agree. Well, thanks, Grandma. Good talking with you. May the best fossil win. Dad. Unfortunately, we were not able to find a flotation device to help this bucket stay afloat. So I'm taking one for the team, and I'm just going to stand out there and hope I don't get pelted. Us got a hole in one. Yay! You gotta be kidding me. The chipping contest was a tie. If we ever do this again, I'm switching up the game because this is not fun. You did a fantastic job holding your ground out in the water. Thank you. What do you have to say? I almost was pelted. Thank you, everyone. That's all for the 2024 4th of July putting contest. I'm not gonna lie. When I was brainstorming what games to do, this was by far the top pick. It is, drum roll please, synchronized swimming. Each team is gonna have five minutes to come up with a random synchronized swimming routine. We're gonna come up with the most heart stopping, heartwarming, heart pounding routine you'll ever see. Who picked out the music? Our dad. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, just give it a second, because I just got a sneak peek at what we're doing. I don't think I have a say in this routine, so don't come for me. Wait, we're getting ready? What do you mean? We're not brainstorming. No. We got it down. We're, we're ready. This is going to be electric. This is going to go right, second person goes left. So, for some reason, my father thought that we should all have nose bugs. I cannot breathe, so this just makes me not be able to breathe more. I'm very excited. I hope we do great. I want precision. Creativity is important, too, but precision. They got to be together.
legs and the feet were good. Yeah. That yeah. Was pretty good. All right, how you guys feeling after that performance? Feeling great. I, I feel like we really put the synchronized in synchronized swimming, yeah. you know? Did we look good from afar? Yeah. Yes. How do you feel? Feeling good, feeling good. The first team was very strong in the first half. The second team closed out with, with the storm. They put a little right. bit more they into it. The props, so do we have a winner? I'll take the second. The second right. team. Did you hear who won? Because I did. It's that new Descendants movie. Red, red, red. Red. Mm. Sorry, I'm celebrating because it's my team. That was by far the most tame sport performed at any Olympics. Let's turn it up a notch. Have you ever wanted to sit on a two that was very robust and industrial grade that spins? Cause I have, and today I'm gonna. We're going tubing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the orbiting tube of death. There's about a 20% chance we survive. We have found our contestants to compete in the rotating orbiting tube of death. I am one of them because I love a good challenge. Alongside me, we have my best friend and fellow red member. Hi everyone, my name is Max. Uh, I'm really excited to be uh, here today, I'm really excited for this event. Team Red. Team Red, let's go. And for some reason, the blue team gets four competitors. I guess they have more eager contestants. First up, we have Molly competing. Yes, we do have four. Who are the other four? Here, do you want to introduce but your team? The other four are Lucy, Sam, and Danny. We might actually have more than that. There's more than four for you? You might be outnumbered. I still like our chances. <laughs> I'm excited, <laughs> ready to go. Team Blue is going to pull through. A little nervous, but really excited. Sam's in it too. Hey. <laughs> May the best person win. The rules for tubing is simple. Stay on and don't fall. It's a game of endurance. The last man or woman standing will win it all. And that's gonna be me. Yes! Here we go! Here we go! Oh! <laughs> oh! There goes one! We dropped one, Jimmy! How was it, Mal? Horrible! Horrible! <laughs> We lost two of them. As you can see, people are falling off faster than the 2020 TikTok hype girlies. So we're gonna give them some extra lives. <laughs> Molly, tell me about your experience. I think I just saw my life flash before my eyes. How about you, Sam? If you like sheer terror, go in that tube. So far, so good. There he is. There's Ketchy, he's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Tell us about your experience. Right, it's really scary. I don't have any thoughts other than that. There's Walk absolutely the zero scenario where I'm falling off this. We're down to four. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh my God, like a carnival ride. Oh my God. Oh, down, we're down, we got down. Yeah, that was fun. It's scary. It's intense out there. Battle of the finish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Danny! Danny's the winner! Oh! Guys, that was one of the most amazing things that's ever been caught on video before. Max, would you do it again? Oh, definitely. What about the champ? How you doing, champ? I'm doing well. Yeah. It feels good to be the victor. Tough competition, but yeah. uh, ultimately, I just stuck in there longer. I didn't win. Congratulations, Danny and Team Blue. I'm so, so happy for you. The games are getting closer and closer by the minute. We must keep fighting, Team Red. And this next game is going to be carried by my sister, Sammy. If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? This next competition might be one of my favorites. We're going to make people shoot a bow and arrow in the game of archery. On Team Blue, we have Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> What made you want to play archery as your sport today? Well, it's the only thing I can do today. <laughs> do you think you're going to win archery? Yes. Why would I do it if I don't think I'm going to win? I love that. Now, how do you feel about knowing that that tiny little bullseye over there is your ticket to fame here? I have no thoughts on it. I think it'll be pretty easy. <laughs> you're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. And on Team Red, we have Sammy. Hi. Do you have high hopes for this? No, I pulled in from the ER five minutes ago. Oh. I don't have strep throat. Both teams will rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to go first. Shoot. No! That's right. That's right. We have a winner on our team. Any final words before you go crazy? Love that. Okay, let it rip, Sammy. You're up first. Hey. Team Red is off to a slow start. But you know what? What's the tortoise in the hair? Who's the winner? The tortoise. That's exactly right. Okay, Maggie. Woo -hoo -hoo. Neither contestant has landed. Team Red, attempt number two. You got it, Sammy. The winner has to land it in yellow. Okay, Maggie James. Woohoo! How are you feeling, Maggie? Not good. <laughs> what team are you rooting for? Team Red. That's right, there yes. you go. Are you Team Blue? I'm Team Blue. How do you feel about your contestants over there? They're doing awesome. Yeah. I'm so impressed, yeah. I think wow. it's fairly mediocre. <laughs> I'm the mother. You gotta support. Repeat after me. I, I am, am an Olympian. An Olympian. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! 
Look at this right here. Team Red, my team, is off to some success. We're in the second ring of the black. We're trying to get in the yellow, so I don't know if that will get any. She's lining up. Go. Nope. That was the perfect height. No, Sandy, that's that's illegal. Oh! Oh! If Team Blue can make this one, it is a tie. Woo! I touched the paper. High five. And Team Red over here, you won! How do you feel? Still don't have strep. <laughs> when you see this arrow, do you think of death? No. I think of winning an Olympic game. Yeah! Did y'all see that? She got a bow, za, a bow, bow, za. I mean, do you know who won? Because I do. Let's head over to the award ceremony and put it in perspective. We are gathered here today to celebrate the Family Olympics. First ever, might I add. Without further ado, we're going to give out the basic awards, the bronze plate. You might be wondering why we have three plates, considering there were only two teams. I'm wondering the same thing. The winner of the bronze plate are actually going to be the grandparents for supporting all the festivities today. <laughs> Moving up in the running, second place. Second place really put their heart out there today, but unfortunately, they didn't win. And that's gonna go to Team Blue. Today was so fun. That leaves our final medal, which goes to Team Red. Yes! Yes! And just like that, the Family Olympics have found their champs. Maybe we'll do this next year. I really wanted to end this video on a high with the fireworks glistening off into the distance as I flew my drone, but I flew it into a tree. Yeah, I crashed my drone. I have some good news. The drone is in rice. And she is in fact working again. Yeah, note to self, don't fly a drone at night. I still got the clip though, so I'm not that mad about it. Comment justice for Team Blue if you want a rematch next year, because I'm staying on that tube. And like this video if you want clear skin. See you next week. Deuces. Do you have anything to say, Dad? Deuces.